All right guys, so in this video, I'm showing you what I have in my everyday makeup drawer for March. Now you know spring is approaching, I'm excited. So I have like a hint of color in there, some pops of green. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in my everyday makeup drawer for March, keep watching. The first thing we're gonna talk about will be primer. So I decided to keep this Becca Love Skin primer in because I need to use it up, it's not that much left, so we're gonna keep this in. I added the Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer for my T-zone area, so I recently purchased this. Now for brows, got my dip brow from Anastasia. I always use it, this is gonna stay in my everyday makeup drawer all the time. And as well as this mascara, it is the Maybelline Great Lash. You guys know how much I like this. I always talk about it. I actually bought another backup at TJ Maxx. So this is going to stay in the everyday makeup drawer. As well as my Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. For eyeshadow base, I decided to use the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Because last month, I used this NARS one a lot. So... I'm gonna make sure I pull this out often in March. For eyeliners, I put out some like greenish eyeliners, some teals. Have this one from LA Girl Shockwave. This one's in Dragon. So we're gonna use that. And this one, I'm not sure this might be drying out. So I wanna test this. Well, no, it's not. This one's from Clinique. What is this one called? Tiniest Teal. So I'm gonna use this one as well. Those are all the greenish eyeliners that I pulled out. I have a black eyeliner in here by Urban Decay that I need to sharpen. So that one, this was in Legend. It's the 24 seven waterline eye pencil. So I definitely need to sharpen this one. I still have my Pat McGrath mascara in here that I need to continue using so I could eventually get rid of it. Lip products. So I added, now I do have some products that I always keep in my in my everyday makeup drawer, but I added this one by Pat McGrath. It's the Matte Trans in 1995. Here it is. There it goes. Right there that is. So I'm gonna be using this. I do have some KVD liquid lipsticks that I want to get some use out of. This is in Lolita and Boat and Arrow. So this is Lolita and Bow and Arrow is over here. Bow and Arrow, Bow and Arrow is probably like my favorite. It's right there. I'm going to keep my Laura Mercier Secret Brighten Powder in. So this is going to stay in here. But I did pull the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And foundation, I have my Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. And this is the shade 6.5. All right. Now concealer, I'm going to be using the Dior Forever Skin Correct in 2W. Now I know I used this maybe like in, what was it, January? I can't remember, but I really need to use it up because it's getting older. So I'm gonna keep this in the drawer and I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Honey. Now let's get into the powders and eyeshadow palette. And for powder, I end up pulling the Micro Smooth Sephora Powder. I actually like this. I picked this one up at TJ Maxx. I used it today. I like this so far. I like it. I think that's the only thing I have for face powders. Yeah, I think that's it. So for bronzer, for bronzer, I end up pulling this Hourglass Diffuse Bronze Light. Go ahead and swatch. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's 
it's right there probably can't see it but it definitely shows up on my face i used it today it's really beautiful um i also pulled out mark jacobs omega bronze tantalize i think i might have used this once or twice so i'm like let me pull this one out feels so smooth So that's tantalized. Okay, for blush, I end up pulling out a palette from Hourglass. This one, I think it's from like a couple holidays ago. This one is the Ambient Lining Blush Quad. This print, this shade probably won't show up that much on my skin. This one right here is kind of light. Let's see, let's do. Lashes. We got that. I also pulled out, which I used the other day, this uh, duo by NARS, it is in Sin and Casino. Here it is. It's one of their older products. I found at TJ Maxx. But I know they still sell the shade Sin in a single, this blush. This is so beautiful. It's the bronzer. You probably can't see that well, but it shows up on my face. And that's the blush. Highlighter, I pulled out the Hourglass Strobe Palette, Metallic Strobe Palette. Here are the shades. My battery is about to go. Oh my gosh, I dropped it. Oh my goodness. Those are the shades. I dropped the palette. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's the shades. He's good. It's good. Now, if this was a Becca highlighter, oh, it's over. Every time I drop a Becca highlighter, shatters all over the floor. There's that the Becca highlighters are just so soft. Okay, so we have that. And then for another highlighter I picked out was the Pat McGrath's. Sublime Skin Highlighter. <laughs> My note just went in there. All right. There's the highlighter. There it is. Very shiny. Well, I did keep these two in my everyday makeup drawer because I need to use this up. I usually use this like under my foundation. Sometimes I put it on top of it, but I like using it under my foundation. And I also kept this Cool Berry Cheeks Out Cream Blush. This is always in my everyday makeup drawer. I just, I really need to use it up. All right, so let's get into palettes. Pulled out the Too Faced Forbidden Fruit Cake. I know it's like a holiday palette, but it had like a little green in it. So I decided to pull it out. Really cute. I mean, I don't like fruit cake, but you know, the palette's cute. So I decided to pull this out. It's pretty. really pretty shades this is a good like everyday palette too another Too Faced palette sweet peach use this today just loved it it just took me back it's a great everyday palette i really enjoy using this today 
pulled out the Pet McGrath Labs. What is this? Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. I thought because they have like greens and golds, this would be fun. It's fun to use for March. That's really pretty. Next, I decided to pull out this BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. Use this maybe once. I did a collab with Nona here on YouTube. I'm just going to use this. The last palette I pulled out is the Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers. Here it is. It's kind of grungy, kind of springy. That's what I like about it. I think I got this on sale like last year or something. It's like 50% off. But I wanted to use this. These are like nice topper shades. If you can see that. I like the packaging, it's really pretty with the flowers everywhere. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is setting spray. I'm gonna use the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray because I wanna finish this up because it's a small one. And I also have this elixir mist. So I'm gonna be using this. All right guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.